beautiful souls at Soul Magic Inspiration, welcome. And I'm here today to do a Ascension update reading. And this is going to be a collective one today. Sometimes I do two piles, but today I'm just doing one for the collective. So, you know, the usual, take what resonates and leave the rest. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for your love and support. Really appreciate that. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. It really helps my channel grow. All my links are down below for my Etsy shop, my card shop and my Patreon. So check those out. So today, as I said, we're doing an Ascension update. So I'm using the Hidden Worlds Oracle to start with. So these have really beautiful images. So we have the Mother Awakens, Compassion, Nurture and Guidance. So taking that beautiful green energy, Heart Chakra energy there. So let's get your message. You are being given the opportunity to feel the pure love and compassion of the mother through the connection to her heart through the rainbow. The rainbow energy is profound. It speaks of hope and healing through each of the energetic centres within the body. The seven rays of light. We all need to become our best selves and the sense that you are being chosen by the mother at this time to awaken to her and to your own capacity to open the door that lies between the worlds. Your own heart will open and respond to return and judgments will fall away to be replaced with compassion, understanding and the true belief in your own worth. Illumination. You are worthy of this compassionate mother love. Let her heal all mother wounds and show you how precious you are. Wow. So she wants to help you heal any mother wounds which a lot of us carry. And we have the Isle of Wonders, Revelation, Teaching and Discovery. And this is like the blue colours here. So beautiful image again. A beautiful island surrounded, you know, by beautiful waterfalls. So tap into your emotions. You know, the blue chakra is all about communication as well. So let's get your message. Some places are so precious they must be completely protected. Such is this place, the Isle of Wonders, shrouded by the mist of the waterfalls and guarded by the turbulence of the waters. It can only be reached through becoming light and flying there. What does this mean for you? That in order to learn that what your soul craves to understand, you must become light enough to travel over the waters and into the Isle of Wonders itself. When this card comes to you, know you are being guided to become light, so your soul can travel to this place and explore the marvels of this place. It's a place of peace and teaching and discovery, of soulful intellect and spiritual guide intelligence. There lies such a deep place within you, and you can discover this place within, for while the Isle of Wonders continues to exist, so does the wonder within you. Wow. Illumination. I have the freedom to learn and to discover. My soul thrives on adventure. So we have a lot of knowledge within us and it's time to tap into that, to go within. And we have boundaries here. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So boundaries are important in our life, especially with other people. Okay, don't let others deplete your energy. You know, always fill up your own cup first. Um, don't be afraid to say no when you need to. Um, let people know what your boundaries are, okay? That's another way. And honour yourself, honour your own energy. The Age of Light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. So yes, you've, you came here, you chose to be here at this time and you have all this knowledge within you. As I said, it's time to tap into that, to go within, to get connected, to... The all of who you truly are. And yes, just say yes. So say yes to opportunities. Say yes to new experiences. There is so much more to explore and learn in this world. 
The ever enfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So I will see this as like the heart chakra and, you know, opening up to who you truly are, opening up to that self-love, opening up to that unconditional love for others. And really, you know, it's happening for you, not to you. Okay, you chose your journey. You chose to be here at this time and be in that beautiful energy of self-love. Honour yourself. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So a lot of us have been afraid to be authentic, to be our authentic selves, to shine the light. But we're here to do that. And it's time to be authentic, to shine your light. Don't dim who you are to fit in. Be proud of being different. Be proud of your authenticity because your light is needed right now on this planet. So we've got a light worker message. Cosmic heart, cosmic Christ. Look at that beautiful image. Soak in that image. It's like the sun is coming out of his heart space. This is the Christ light. The true meaning of Christ, the Christ light. The cosmic heart. We're all connected at source. So let's get your message. You are elevating your vibration towards the frequency of limitless supply and unconditional love. Spiritually, you are reaching for a high level of attainment. Past pain and self-defeating behaviours shall no longer have a place in your heart. How beautiful is that? So there's an invocation. I call on the unconditional love of the Christ in the form of Christ consciousness, the sacred, peaceful, kind and generous nature of my own heart. I open to receive an abundance of loving kindness from the universe in unlimited forms of blessing. I allow myself to give and receive freely. All that I want and need comes to me in accordance with the loving intelligence of divine timing. I feel much gratitude in my heart for the loving blessings and the grace of the universe. May the light and love of the true Christ bless the hearts of all loving beings, bringing peace, joy and divine love through my own free will, so it be, so it be, so it be. Beautiful. Angelic realms, a team effort, charity, validation and patience. So, you know, the, the guides and angels are around us. They need our permission to come in. If you connect with the elementals, we've got the unicorn energies there. We've got the wolf spirit. You could have a power animal as a guide. They're waiting for your call. We have to ask for their help before they can help us. And they want to. Okay, so connect with your team. Connect with your divine team right now. Sacred space, positive outcome, clarity, lucky attraction, removing obstacles. So yes, it's time to remove obstacles. Maybe find a sacred space in your home, like make an altar with crystals, candles, you know, oils, whatever or whatever resonates for you. And, you know, be in that open energy to attract your manifestations, be in a good positive energy in your mind, words and and actions. And, you know, do that work to remove obstacles in your life. Ascension flame. Liberation, a sense of greater purpose, high expectations. So, you know, be in that energy of liberation. You know, free yourself. Be your authentic self. Honour yourself at this time. Okay, because you are ascending and you are raising your vibration and every one of us that does that is helping the collective, helping Mother Gaia to raise. So honour this aspect of yourself. Celestial Channel. Hidden beauty, remaining optimistic, staying neutral. So you could be somebody that has the gift of channeling or you're going to tap into that, some information, 
to help other people. And again, it's talking about remaining optimistic. So being in that positive energy. And she's got like a key tattoo there. So you could have the key to some knowledge within you. This could be within you. This could be some channeling information. But don't take sides at this time. This is a planet of polarity. You know, be in that neutral space if you can. Language of light, rediscovery, humble wanderer, communication. So some of you could be uh, resonating with light language. You could be somebody that's going to start channeling this, um, helping others with this language. Maybe again, this is a, something deep within you and you've got this knowing, this knowledge from past lifetimes and you're going to help many others by communicating with this language of light. So let's look at some chakra energies right now. So we've got the base chakra, the root chakra, home. Shelter, safety, nurturing and warmth. So we all need to feel grounded. We all need, need to feel safe. We all need that shelter, that nurturing, that warmth. So this is a priority right now. You know, ground your energy, find that safety, that shelter, nurture yourself. Maybe it's time to spend time at home and just rest and recharge right now especially if you're in the northern hemisphere you know in those winter months you know that in energy does look a bit like a um you know hibernation phase and we've got the solar plexus intuition knowing sensing and trust gut instincts and we've got the lion and the lion is always a sign of courage bravery so be brave and follow your own gut you know follow your intuition tune into that inner knowing and the more we use it the stronger it becomes and we have self-expression the throat chakra vocalization individuality inner voice and assertiveness so don't be afraid to speak your truth as we were saying earlier it's time to express yourself you know your voice vocalizing your inner voice you know your inner knowing will help many others and it's time to do this, okay? And express yourself, express your individuality. Don't be afraid of who you are. And we've got the heart chakra. So really, your heart chakra is opening up, as we saw at the beginning. You know, open up to receive. Um, be in that energy of give and take. Open up your heart to receive love, to give love. To be in that beautiful energy of unconditional love for self and others. And we have the... The um, crown chakra, visualisation, imagination, focus, experience and manifestation. So visualise what it is that you want to manifest and be in the positive thoughts, words and actions. You know, we co-create with the universe. We don't have, we don't sit back. You know, we put action into what we're trying to manifest. Use your imagination, focus and manifest your desires. And get grounded. Um, we've got nature, presence, practicality and stability. So go out into nature. You know, ground your energy into Mother Gaia. Get grounded. Live in the moment. You know, take care of practical things in your life. Be stable. You know, connect to nature. It really can help you rest, heal and recharge. And we have the, th the third eye chakra here, insight understanding awakening awareness and self-evaluation so some of you could be having a third eye awakening here and you're having a better understanding of who you are you're going through an awakening process and awareness and you may be going through a self-evaluation of your life to date and what you're here to do right now we have abundance fortune wealth and plenty so we have the number 2 plus 8, 10, the end of a cycle. So you're coming into abundance. Open up your arms, your mind, your heart to receive this abundance. It's waiting to come in to your life in all aspects. And the very word abundance means there is enough for all. Okay. <clears throat> Divine masculine, electric active power. So this is an aspect of all of us. We all have divine masculine, divine feminine within us. So it may be time to, if you're a feminine, to step into that divine masculine aspect of yourself. Time to take our, uh, take back your power. Take action. It says active power. 
So, you know, as I said, co-create with the universe, take action on what you need to manifest. And for some of you, this could be an actual person, okay, that you are trying to manifest your divine masculine partner, your counterpart here. And we've got loss and lack, fear, victimization. So, you know, again, some of you could be going through these feelings right now, being in that lack energy, um, have been through a loss, you know, are in that fear energy, feeling victimized. And it's time to step out of that energy, okay? It's time to really do that inner work, to heal these negative feelings and energies within yourself, to let go of fear. And love is the opposite of fear. So come into that energy of love, that self-love, love for others and step out of the victim mode. Setting boundaries, threshold protection and honour. So again, we've got boundaries coming up and we've got like a beautiful tiger, I think that is there. So some of you could have a tiger animal. We're still in the tiger year, actually, in Chinese astrology. OK, um, so it's time to set boundaries for yourself and others to protect your own energy, to honour your space, to honour your sacred space and your own energy and never give from an em empty cup. You know, as I said earlier, don't be afraid to say no sometimes. Make sure you rest and recharge, okay, before giving to others. Power over difficulty. Reclaiming your power. Yeah, it's time to reclaim your power. Take back your power. Don't give your power away. Step into that sovereignty. You know, be responsible for yourself and your actions. Take it on board and be in that energy of power. You know, you can overcome any difficulty. Just be in that mindset. Opening the heart, deep connections, water blessings. So again, at the very beginning, we were talking about that. Opening your heart, you know, being in that energy of self-love, self-worth, self-compassion. And you, by being in that open-hearted energy, you will attract the like in a partner if that's what you're looking for, deep connections. But not just with a partner, with other people, you know, new friendships, soul connections in all aspects of your life. And water blessings, you know, talking about the emotions, being blessed with positive emotions. Yeah, deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences, and it's a number one plus five, which is six. And we had quite a few sixes in this reading so far. And now I will see that as the energy of love. And I feel that you could be connected maybe with a past life person, you know, person you had a relationship with in the past life. Um, and you could feel deep emotions, you could meet somebody that stirs this up in you, and maybe it's time to do some past life regression therapy to really look at that, what what sort of lives you had in the past that could be affecting you now. Sacred Purpose, Eternal Flame, Ancestral Legacy, and we've got the number 4 plus 3, 7, and 2023 is a seven year, a year of spirituality, soul purpose, and you are an eternal flame. You know, we never die. We are, we're just energy. We transform. And there could be some ancestral legacy. There could be something within you. Um, some powerful gifts that you're going to come into the knowing of. You're going to rediscover. Innovation, new creation. So time to get creative here. Tap into your creativity. You know, what can you create in the world? And, you know, being creative is really powerful, it's very healing, it's good for the soul, it really helps your self-esteem. So don't be afraid to be inventive, to get creative. So let's get your um, light message, white light oracle message. So we've got leisure or parvati. So let's get your message. There is a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect. Tame the wild and frenzied workings of the mind by grounding yourself with beauty, pleasure and grace. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of great future happiness. How beautiful is that? So yes, you know, tame your wild, frenzied mind. 
okay so you know you could be overthinking you could be stuck up in your head right now it's time to ground yourself with beauty pleasure and grace and you will overcome any violence or negative aspects in your life and there's a great future happiness awaiting you here So I'm going to read an invocation. For the spiritual benefit of all beings, I call upon the Divine Mother, Parvati, for her blessings of spiritual grace, happiness, wisdom and healing. May I recognise and embrace the gentlest path for effective healing and loving self-transformation. May the triple blessing of Tridevi grace my soul for the ultimate benefit to all souls. All souls. So be it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is my guidance for Ascension, Grief and Loss deck. So we're going to get some final messages. So we've got pray. Prayers are powerful. Use prayer in your life daily. Ask for guidance, comfort and support. Like I said, our guides and angels can only come in if we ask them. Forgive yourself. You have done nothing wrong. Forgive others that have hurt you. Do not hold on to negative thoughts and feelings. So I recently did a forgiveness meditation so you can check that out. Allow yourself to feel the feelings. Release, smooth through sadness, anger, guilt and pain. So really feel those feelings. You know, don't try and suppress it at all. Feel it and release it. And that's very healing. And cleanse your home with sage or palo santo to clear negative energies. So do that clearing work again. I made a video about cleansing and clearing recently. So, you know, cleanse and clear your home, your energy regularly. You know, we get stuck, dark, stagnant, stagnant energy in our homes. And it will really help you move forward if you clear it. So final messages from the Archangels. Archangel Raguel, enter higher planetary service. Be a blazing light. So again, going back to shining your light there. Archangel Raziel, seek and you will find. Be a wise one. So do your own research, you know, do your own research. Read books, read articles, you know, whatever that is for you. Go within, be the wise one. You know, never stop looking, never stop learning. And finally, Archangel Raphael, See with enlightened eyes and open to abundance. So Archangel Raphael, the Archangel of Healing, he's wearing the green colour, which is the heart chakra, and heal, heal yourself, heal from the past, and open up to abundance, because you are deserving, you are worthy. So I'm going to leave it there. Beautiful messages, love and blessings. Take care.